Welcome to a statistics video. I'll be showing you how to do uh, tables for this video. So um, this first set here, I got a bunch of data. I got to turn it into a table. It's actually really simple. All you do is you go into stat, tables, contingency. And since we got the columns filled out here, we're going to go with data. Okay, so first thing it's going to ask is, what do I call my columns and my rows? Okay, so I believe for this problem, this particular one, the uh, the rows is going to be, uh, oopsie, going to be the violence, while the columns will be the gender. And that's all you really have to select for this one. So there's the data right there. Sorry, my computer's running a bit hot right now. There we go. Okay, so here's the data right here, these four squares. Um, just keep in mind that it's not going to put it in the same order that you might see it on your problem. So just um, be careful about the um, order you put it in. All right, so that's with data. Now, if they give you a summary, it'll look something like this, where they'll give you all the information already. And they might ask you like to calculate chi-squared, find the p-value, find a certain percentage. OK, so to do that, we'll do it the same way. We'll go stat, tables, contingency. And this time, we'll do it with summary. So the first thing it'll ask is, which columns contain your data? See, this is where you need to be careful because sometimes they'll give you a column with totals in it. And if that's the case, you don't want to select that. Okay, so we just want the columns with our data in it. So that'll be, for this problem, it'll be the LD and the LL columns. Okay, then it's going to ask which column has the row labels in it. So as you can see, it's the first column the one that we didn't select here. So that's what we'll be selecting for the row labels. And it's important that you select those because uh, StatCrunch won't be able to uh, give you the output if those two aren't selected. Okay, now down here, this will be pre-selected so you don't have to touch it. Here I might ask you for um, column percents. So I do that and compute. And there's my output there. So all the numbers you see in parentheses are all the different column percentages for each value. Um, another thing I might ask you for is um, the expected value. So I'll just go back in here and edit it. Select expected count. And these are the expected values. Okay, down here you'll see chi squared. It's not pronounced chi, it's a Greek letter. Chi looks like a giant X. So this is the chi-squared value. And your p-value, you've seen it already in the hypothesis testing. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it doesn't get any easier than that. And, uh, well, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll see if I can answer them for you. Otherwise, thanks for tuning into this video. And uh, check out my next one. All right, guys, take care.